I'm sorry, I don't periodically hit him in the head. I just, no, I usually slap him in the face. And he's getting a bit, you know, rowdy. Should I just tell stories about how I used to eat? Hello! It's indecisive hey. Penel, once again. What's uh, up? Throwback Thursday! Woo! So, we are going to tell some stories from our childhood. Just just one apiece, I think. Yeah, okay. Maybe. Okay. Uh, who wants to go first? How about Victoria? Victoria, ladies first, I after think all. Thank you for volunteering. Yeah, so. Um, okay. My, I've told many of my friends this, but this is like the epitome of who I am. It's It just describes me and how I was, especially as a child. So, my family and I have traveled a lot. And one time when I was oh, like six or eight or around there, um, my family and I were in Egypt and we were at the pyramids looking around and you know, How checking. Are those? They were very pointy. So we were at, okay. we were at the Here. pyramids and um, I think I had like kind of strayed away from my family. I was just hanging out by myself and this guy walks up to me and I'm, I'm a super sassy child. Apparently I was like evil. That's what my siblings say. I don't know. This guy walks up to me and he's like, he had an accent. I don't know exactly, but he was Egyptian. And he's like, you're Egyptian so beautiful. Accents. Will you marry me? And I, that sounds you're, like you're Jamaican six? or something. I don't know around there again. So this dude with a Jamaican accent was like, a man with in Egypt. Egypt. A man with a, ja a Jamaican in Egypt who was like, do you? He was Egyptian. I just don't know how that would sound. So and he wanted to marry a six-year-old you. Yes. And I look up and I'm like, no. And he's like, why not? And I was like, you're wearing a necklace. Oh, that's, and then that's I walked a real deal away right here. And I was like, no, no necklace man for me, no siree. So, um, so I said no. That was a heartbreaker at the age of six. I know what I want in a man. Apparently it's not a necklace. Not a necklace. Anyway, <laughs> so that was my throwback. Alright, Throwback Thursday. Uh, Hudson, Throwback Thursday. Go! Okay. Well, um, also when I was a little pipsqueak. Pipsqueak. A youngster. Pips of sweets. A wee little lad. I was a wee little <laughs> lad. Um, among the many crazy things I did, I drank anything I could get my hands on. And now, you're still here. Before you start thinking like alcohol and stuff like that, no, it's way worse. Worse than worse than alcohol. Wait, I'm not... Uh, so among the list of things that I drank, um, grill cleaner, grill don't even... Word. Yep, uh, washing detergent, Wash. regular soap. And you're still here? My mother claims she had poison control on speed dial. Okay. Like, washing detergent looks really cool and blue, and you're like, I wonder... And it kind of smells even good, so like, it smells this... good, it's gotta taste good. I always I threw it up. Uh... Um, one of the other things I ate was a penny. Aww. I know lots of other people have done this, but yes. I actually remember the pain of doing this. There's a robin. Something much cooler than this has popped up. Peter Wabbit, come back here. Oh. Good thing none you of our spirit nature. animals are buddies. Who hasn't told a story? Nathan. Hello. My story was when I was 13 years old. Um, I had a birthday party, of course. It was not at my house. It was at a, a pizza place. None, none of them none were of there. We weren't there. Because I didn't really know them all. He I was weird. Friends. She was awkward. Quite awkward. So... She's, she's waiting to get over it. Uh, but never gonna get over it. Never. <laughs> hey. um, anyway, so Bye. after we had pizza and parties, we decided that we were going to go to Laser Quest. Oh. So, you know, shoot laser guns at each other. And so we get there. We get all geared up, ready to go in. And my mom's like, I want to play too. So she comes in as well. So my whole family's there. My friends are there. We're going around playing. And this is like one of those awesome places that have multiple levels. So there's two levels actually. So I'm going around. And I come up to this corridor. I'm having Just my gone. friends. Is this boring to you? I had my sides. My referring back to story. Continue. My friends were following me, and and we stopped. Okay. To my left, there's a ramp that goes up that direction, and there's a wall, right where 
straight across. So you have to turn because there's a wall there, all right? So we stop, we get here and we stop. And I'm like, okay, shh, shh, hold it. Like, do you guys hear that? And we hear this, this rapid stepping that's slowly getting louder and louder and louder. And the, and the next thing we hear is this like, ah, getting louder. And we're like, what is happening? And come flying around the corner down this ramp is some person. And this person is like, I say they were moving at a very quick pace. They, they were, that might have been running. I'm not sure, but they came in and they just face planted straight into this wall and fell straight on their back. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, what just happened? And, and then, you know, it's really dark because, you know, it's, it sets the mood. And I, and I, I bend over and I, I'm looking and, I, and all I say is, mom? My mother, apparently, she says she wasn't running, but I think she was. She was apparently being chased by two children who she says, and I quote, were ganging up on her and kept shooting her. So she was moving away from them at a quick walk, as she says. And she apparently came down this ramp and face planted straight into this wall and fell. So we're standing there, I'm like, oh my gosh, in front of all my friends, thinking this is embarrassing. And my dad. My dad comes up and he's just and he and we just lock eyes and he and he just says mom and I'm like mom. We went on with the rest of the game. My mom, I guess she had a sit, you know, she just ran into a wall. But that's my story of my 13th birthday, which I will never forget now. Aww. I hope you all enjoyed these wonderful stories of ours. Yes. Which was the best? Yeah. Um, but that's it. So have a nice day. She's counting for <laughs> <laughs> Okay. My leg didn't even go. <laughs>